Defense Forces confirming nearly 200 others are still believed to be held captive. That is leaving families in Israel and here at home wondering if their loved ones will also be freed. One of those is Alana Zaitchik. Um, Alana, um, whose six cousins, um, Sharon, David, Julie, Emma, uh, Danielle, and Amelia, were all taken as hostages nearly two weeks ago. And Alana is joining us now to talk more um, about this. Alana, thank you so much for joining us on this. I'm so sorry for what you and your family have been going through these last um, couple of weeks. Tell me what me. you know about the experiences of your your cousins and how they were taken. Mm -hmm. So we know that at around 7 a.m. Israel time, um, Saturday morning on the 7th, um, they heard uh, they got a red alert, which forced them to go to their mamad, their safety room, um, which they put themselves in and remained there for several hours until they realized it was not the usual, um, you know, rockets from Gaza. And they could hear um, Hamas in the in the, the the house next door, burning the house next door and the connecting room to their mamad. Um, the smoke was coming in. And this is because my cousin was, you know, sending voice notes to her family, to her immediate family. Um, and so smoke came in and essentially smoked them out of, of the Mamad as if they were like rodents. And um, at that point, she sent a voice note to my aunt and my uncle saying, we're probably not gonna get out of this, we love you. And that's, and then we saw a video um, of them in a truck, so. <laughs> so you knew that they had been taken. I, I, I know that um, the IDF has informed you and your family that um, they are alive um, and they are being held um, in Gaza, that you got confirmation of that, I believe on, on Friday. Do you know how they, they knew that information? And, and do you know if they're being held as a unit? We have no idea. That's not, we know that they're there. I know that the IDF is in contact with my family in Israel to check in with them, but we have absolutely right. no other information about their conditions, are, are, whereabouts or not. Are you worried about their safety, especially knowing that Israel is planning on um, invading Gaza, or do you think it would help them um, be found sooner? I'm worried about their safety right now before any any potential incursion, right? They're in the hands of evil. So I'm terrified about their safety right now. It's all I think about, you know? It's hard not to think about it. So am I scared? Of course, how could I not be? Um, you've been sounding the alarm from Brooklyn. It's probably so hard to be so far away from your family, knowing that they're um, missing and they're being held in Gaza by um, Hamas. Are you, are you getting support here? What kind of support are you getting? Um, I've gotten a lot of support from my community, friends, um, family. People have been, you know, it was hard for me to eat. So people have been sending me food and sending me gift cards and friends have sending me care packages and um, a lot of support on Instagram from, you know, I've been sharing what's going on and I've gotten some amazing, you know, warm messages and people keep checking in on me and telling me that they're thinking about me and my family every day. And it definitely helps to get that kind of support right now. It's kind of necessary. You know, I don't think I could have ever been prepared for this. T tell me a little bit, if you will, um, Alana, about um, your cousin, um, Sharon, David, um, the kids, I'm seeing these beautiful pictures of the girls here as you've been speaking. Yeah, they're some of my closest family members. Um, my mom is one of five and my oldest, um, her oldest sister, Ricky, has has three kids, Sharon, Moran, and Danielle. And so, Sharon, so Sharon and Danielle are sisters. Um, Sharon is like my little sister. Um, we really, I mean, both of them, I really grew up with, with them. Um, and she was on the kibbutz with, with David and the little girls and the little girls are so beautiful. They're so happy. They're such smiley, happy little girls. And Danielle is like a big sister to me. Uh, she actually lived in our house here um, in New Jersey when my parents lived in New Jersey uh, when I was younger for a little while. And she's like a big sister. She's very nurturing and we, she and I have, we, we love yoga and we have so much in common. And her daughter, Amelia is, she's also a single mother. She had Amelia by herself and she, Amelia is so clever and so smart 
my cousin sort of jokes around, you know, like she needs to be eating every five minutes. Um, and <laughs> she's just you know, she's a five-year-old. Yeah, she's a she's a normal little um, five-year-old who all need to be eating um, every five minutes. And now they find themselves mm -hmm. in this awful, desperate um, situation. The hope is at least they are hopefully together. Um, Alana Zajic, um, thank you so much. Uh, my best to you um, and your family in the days to come and the return of your cousins as well. Thank you for having me.